Urban Legend 111, you know what it is, bro? Let's talk about it. Now, Kendrick Lamar has finally put out his diss song against Drake, and in my opinion, he smoked Drake with it. It's called Euphoria. Go check it out. It's dope. 50 Cent has reacted to this diss song coming out. He went on his Instagram, posted a screenshot of the diss, and said, this is real hip-hop-ish. Go check it out. I would have posted it, but it's too long with a shrugging emoji. Now, I think 50 is a little bit salty because Kendrick Lamar may have a line that was going at 50 on that song. And I think 50 knows it. It wasn't very direct. It was very subtle and you had to catch it. But I, I'm pretty sure that line was at 50 because it applied. Um, but it's also weird that 50 said this this song was too long. I thought that was a slight at Kendrick because 50 had no pop problem posting Drake's diss songs. And Drake's diss songs were long too. His was four minutes and some change. Kendrick's was six minutes and some change. That's not too much of a difference. After three minutes, bro, you you just listening to the song. So I thought that was a little bit of a slight to Kendrick to say it's too long with a shrugging emoji. Um, so I don't know. Maybe 50 felt the way about the line. I'm going to show you guys what the line was in a second. My opinion on this, I think that the uh, diss song was perfect length. I think we want to hear six-minute diss songs from Kendrick Lamar because we don't hear that much music from him. So we want to hear everything you think and everything you got to say right now. You know, We don't want to hear a, a two-and-a-half-minute diss We'd have been sitting there like, bro, we need more than that. You've got to do more than that. You know, I think it was a situation where if Kendrick was uh, to put a song like that out, a two and a half minute song, 50 would have been online saying this ain't long enough. This ain't enough. You got to do more. You know, so he kind of damned if he do, damned if he don't. But we know in the past that 50 Cent had been supporting Drake um, in the previous weeks, you know, even saying that Kendrick should probably leave him, leave him alone. He warned him. He said uh, on a previous post when Drake put out, you know, his former disses against Kendrick. He said, okay, in my professional opinion on this matter, leave this man alone. I've seen this movie before and it will not end well. You disagree? Okay. Then where's your ish at, boy? And then when Kendrick comes with it, it's like, oh, this was too long. Like, bro, which one is it? You know what I'm saying? Even um, prior to that, when Drake put out the first diss song, you know, 50 was supporting it and he said, all you niggas got smoked by a light-skinned nigga. LOL, y'all better get high as an mf -er and come up with something. And 50 had no problem posting Drake's videos, taking the clip out of each video, all the disses that uh, Drake did, the two disses that he did. You know, 50 knows he could take a minute clip and post it on his Instagram. To, so for him to say uh, Kendrick's is too long and, you know, I can't, I would have posted it, but it was too long. Well, Drake's was long. And you had no problem posting a minute clip out of his on your Instagram and supporting it. So I didn't understand that. Um, I thought that was a cop out, you know, because 50 just wants to address that. Hey, I love hip hop, but I'm really not supporting Kendrick for whatever reason. Um, Kendrick, this is the line that Kendrick may have been shooting at 50 Cent. And this is what I felt when I heard it. Because it did, it just applied to 50. I didn't, I didn't see what else, uh, who else it could have been at. Kendrick said on the song Euphoria, he said, What I learned, these niggas don't like the West Coast and I'm fine with it. I pushed the line with it. Pick a nigga off one at a time with it. We can be on a three hour time difference. So I think Kendrick was saying, you know, if you in New York, 50 and you don't like me, then that's fine. I'm fine with it, you know? Um, and if you want to get involved, I can, you know, go there too. Uh, I thought that was the line at 50 Cent. What I learned, these niggas don't like the West Coast, and I'm fine with it. I push the line with it. Pick a nigga off one at a time with it. We can be on a three-hour time difference. Um, and obviously, we all know L.A. to New York is a three-hour time difference, um, East Coast to Pacific Coast. So I thought that line was at 50. I think 50 heard that line. I think he didn't want to support Kendrick just in case that line was at me. I don't want to be, you know, too much uh, supporting this. And I don't want to look like a hypocrite, you know, supporting this and hyping this up after I've been hyping up Drake for the last two weeks, even though I know it's dope. And even though I know, you know, Kendrick is smoking Drake, I don't want to act too crazy about it because I got something going on over here with Drake. You know what I mean? That's how I feel. So um, I think 50 is a fan of hip hop, but I think he does have an allegiance to Drake. Uh, and he doesn't want to go against that. That's how I feel. Urban Legend 11, you know what it is. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys next time. I'm out of here.